Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed video. I've been looking for some extra content to do on the channel and some new ideas. So, I love doing top 5 videos and I've been looking to do some Assassin's Creed videos, so let's kind of mix them all together. I'm going to be going through top 5 moments in all Assassin's Creed games, starting of course with this episode in Assassin's Creed 2. Not sure how often I'll do it, I'll try to do it once a week, we'll see what happens, you know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's get right into it. These are, of course, my top five favorite mo moments, scenes from Assassin's Creed 2. Let me know your thoughts, whether I missed something, whether there's something else you'd like to see on the list, or even your list itself. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. At number five is Ezio's first assassination of Uberto. So he did this after his father and brothers were executed publicly and their supposed family friend Uberto was working with the Templars and Ezio found out and by God, he started getting his revenge. And the reason it's so special is because not only was it Ezio's first ever assassination in the game and his life, but it was also with the ferocity and the rage and the pure emotions he did it with, and then the speech afterwards? The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori! Like, it was super emotional, and you could tell the work Roger Craig Smith did putting that emotion into the scene, and what it meant to the character, and you saw the real passion and how much this whole journey and revenge story meant to him personally. At number four was the codex being put together, where the whole crew's kind of figuring out what's going on, all the assassins have gathered, Ezio's has traced the codexes, you put the map together and you realise, holy shit, this isn't just drawings and writings from Altair, this is a map to all these different locations and the vault, you realise what this all was. In the end, and Altair has had this plan all along, and all his writings had a meaning. And the, the whole assassin crew and Ezio need to head to Rome and battle Rodrigo Borgia the Pope. So it just builds and perfectly cements all that's gone on and connects all the dots in a way. And you're like, holy shit, here we go, let's finish this fight. Number three, initiation. So this is pretty much the scene where Ezio meets Rodrigo Borgia in battle, where Ezio's tracked down and traced the Apple of Eden and where it's going, trying to figure out what's going on and all these secrets behind why his father and brothers were killed. And then all of a sudden, all the characters Ezio's met along the way show up and help him out. The likes of La Volpe and Bartolomeo and all these other people, and it turns out they're all assassins as well, and you're like, oh shit! Holy crap, they were all assassins the whole time. You meet Machiavelli, and you see Mario, you see the whole squad there. And that's where you first officially get initiated as a full-fledged assassin and meet the crew. And you're like, okay, I understand what this is. They've all been training me. This is what this journey has meant. Now, let's finish this. What a great scene and moment that was in the game. At number two is Ezio's introduction. I know this isn't particularly one moment, but this whole introduction is one of the best starts to any game, if not the best start to any game I've ever played, where Ezio's beginning was, boom, you had him on the bridge, and you meet him, and you see that he's a bad... You, you understand so much about this character within these couple of scenes. And I guess it's not one moment, but it's just this section and short section where he first he's on the bridge, you find that he's a badass, he stands up for himself, he's got witty humour, and he's a badass fighter. Then right after, you have that amazing introduction scene, where he's at the top of the church with his brother, and they look out at the city, and they say, It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. And then there's a the beautiful music playing, boom, we've got our game starting, and then Ezio goes and has a, let's just say, a fun time with his lovely girlfriend, Christina, and you're like, this dude is so fucking cool. I was like, I am so in on this guy, what an amazing character, I'm ready to go, let's play this whole game. Like, that was an unreal start to the game. I guess it's not one moment, but I couldn't pick it down to one point at the start of the game, it's those... All that section of game was just such an amazing portion 
and so good, so forgive me for putting in a couple scenes that won't happen again. <laughs> At number one, like, it's pretty obvious, it's the ending with Ezio, where he talks to Minerva. Because I knew Assassin's Creed had a modern day story, we knew there was some mysterious magical shit with all the pieces of Eden, but what the fuck? Space Wizards? Holy shit, like, I was like, wait, what's happening right now? Like, this took a whole other direction than I expected. It was an unbelievable scene to see Minerva for the first time, where I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I can't believe this is happening, this is unreal. And I needed to re-watch it and replay it and figure it out, and even then I still was like, what's happening? I want to play more. It got me so invested in the future installments of the game. It finished Ezio's story off nicely, not perfectly, but nicely, even though we got another game thankfully afterwards to finish it. And then you get the Desmond portion and you're like, holy crap, this is insane shit. What's going to happen? I'm so in. What a great ending that game was. And it just left you with one of the best cliffhangers in any games and one of the best moments in all of Assassin's Creed. And that's why it has to be number one on the list here. So guys, let me know your favourites if you missed any scenes, if, if I missed any scenes or anything like that. I know there's some honourable mentions of things like the Pope battle with Rodrigo Borgia. I mean, how often do you get to fist po fight the Pope in a game? It's pretty amazing. And there's so many great scenes in this game. This list and Brotherhood's list, which I'll do next, were the hardest two to nail down. But this is what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see more of this series, let me know. Give this video a like so I know that you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one.